Sebastian Bourdais was on top of the world last March, elated and emotional in victory lane after winning the St. Pete Grand Prix. It sparked an impressive start to 2017. Until this. A brutal qualifying crash at Indy left his hip, pelvis, and ribs fractured, but not his spirits. In part two of my Brunching with Bourdais series, we chatted about his road to recovery as he braces for a repeat on Sunday. What were you thinking at that moment? That car starts to go off track. Oh, what a crash! What a terrible crash! Everything happens so fast, it's just uh, there's not much time to think other than, oh crap, that's no good. I lost consciousness for, I don't know, a second and a half or something. So I missed the upside down on fire or whatever part. And then, then you know you're broken. Just a brutal hit, and we continue to watch and hope for good things for Sebastian. You knew at that point yeah, that your pelvis was broken? I didn't know about the femur, but I knew I knew about the pelvis, because the, the pressure in the groin and everything, Doc stopped by and said, you know, it's, it's going to be fine. You know? And then at that point, you know, you feel obviously relieved. <laughs> All right, so that's uh, six and a half weeks in after the accident. The rehab part was, really wasn't bad at all. Two months and ten days, I was back in the car. My wife was pretty unimpressed with me going back in the car. What did she have to say about it? Nothing good. <laughs> 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 two months, two months. He had to look behind, right, Don't to make sure she wasn't there. She's not listening. Yeah. Two months and ten days. Now Claire was happy to see him back on the track, and Sebastian did return for mm -hmm. the final three races of 2017. He said he didn't want the comeback story to carry over into this year. Of course, we just got done talking about mm -hmm. it, but he is now focused on finishing what he started. He got year. right back yeah. in the car. Right that, back. What two an months, athlete. ten days. I asked him if he was determined to beat the timeline. Mm -hmm. He said, "No, I just wanted to get back to my passion, which yeah. was racing." That's yeah. exactly what he's going to do this weekend.